What's going on, everybody? It's Pac-Man Jones with Savannah Seaport News. And, man, if you know anything about Savannah when it comes to our festivals and our celebrations, you know that St. Patrick's Day is the biggest celebration in Savannah. Probably the biggest celebration of St. Patrick's Day in the South. And I say that because uh, this year, things have changed a little bit. Um, Thursday is the March for St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's Day actually is on uh, Friday, March the 17th, but the March is on the 16th on a Thursday. And this uh, event, the St. Patrick's Day weekend, that I really call it, will run from Thursday through Saturday. And the parade will start at 1015 on that Thursday. Now, the boundaries will remain the same as the last years and previous years. I got the map just in case if you want to see where the parade will run from and where what would be the best positions if you want to see the parade just in case if you want to go to the parade um, I got the map so you can actually see that and more about how things are changing uh, instead of it like the wristbands actually about the wristbands you actually have to buy one in order to drink outside in the downtown area this doesn't count if you want to drink inside of a bar. You don't need a wristband to drink inside of a bar. But if you want to drink outside, if you want to like bring it, get a to-go cup and just drink it outside, uh, instead of it costing $5, it's going to go from $5 to $10. And, and that money will be split with the city and it will be split with three nonprofit organizations. Uh, and those organizations are called the Savannah Waterfront Association, City Market Association, and Downtown Business Association. So that money is going to be split between them. I believe uh, the city would get $3 for each wristband sold and the remaining will just be divided among those associations. Now about those wristbands, last year 75,821 wristbands were sold during that three-day festival which ran from Thursday through Saturday. And in 2015, uh, price uh, ticket sales dropped from 70,500 wristbands were sold, and that was in a four-day festival. Now, in 2006, well, 2014, uh, 79,500 wristbands were sold, uh, and that festival ran from four days as well, Friday through Monday. So. And I also did the math, the math on this, did my numbers. You know, let's just say if seventy-five thousand people show up, and you know, it's ten dollars for each wristband. The city gonna make seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars. They're gonna make three quarters of a million dollars compared to charging five dollars, and they only would have made three hundred and seventy-five thousand. So, um, I feel like it's worth it if you want to drink downtown. If you don't want police to stop you because it's going to be a, a big police presence probably the largest police presence you probably ever see in savannah is during the parade or well, during the whole weekend of saint patrick's day festivals you're going to see a lot of police so if you don't want to be stopped and you know hey why are you drinking without a wristband i just to say uh, just buy a wristband i mean it, it's worth it but more about saint patrick's day uh, it's going to be pretty busy. It's going to be uh, a busy few days in the city. I mean, driving downtown is going to be a little bit hectic. And as far as getting a hotel, it's probably already too late. I mean, I'm not even trying to be funny, but a lot of these hotels are booked like early January. Sometimes they book even way before then. They probably book them like late December. So... You might can still get a hotel, but getting a hotel down, downtown right now and trying to book it is going to the price is going to go up day by day. And many hotels downtown has increased their rates to at least three hundred dollars per night. I'm not even exaggerating about that. Uh, you know, to stay downtown for those days, you, know, you, you got to pay the big bucks. And pretty much hell, any hotel in Savannah is pretty much booked from downtown all the way to 204 to the edge of the city so you know if you haven't booked your hotel or anything it might already be too late you might can find something but uh get it 
get it fast, not later. But anyways, more about St. Patrick's Day. Um, this will be the 193rd March of St. Patrick's Day that they had in Savannah. And also about the whole uh, festival. You can have pets. I believe you can have like a dog maybe, but no snakes are allowed. So they won't, they, they, you can't have any snakes. You can't bring any snakes. I just thought I had to throw that out there for some odd reason. Now, as far as us having the biggest celebration of St. Patrick's Day in the South, that's true. But however, on the U.S. ranked list of the top cities to go to for St. Patrick's Day, we rank number four. And number one is New York, which I didn't know anything about. I didn't know uh, New York celebrated like that but New York has over at least 2 million spectators for the uh, for the parade and second to that is Chicago where they have at least a million people spectating the parade and third in that list is Boston where they have at least 600,000 to a million people uh, watching the parade and fourth is uh, Savannah Georgia where we have at least 750,000 people at the parade or just not even at the parade but just down there during that whole weekend at least 750,000 people so I mean that's that's a lot of people downtown and I've been down there before I've been down there maybe like two or three years ago my bird my buddy's birthday is actually on St. Patrick's Day so we go down there and, uh, and celebrate but picture this picture going downtown on river street and you're shoulder to shoulder with people downtown that's wearing green i mean it's, it's that deep it's a lot of people downtown in in all the downtown areas city market broughton street river street bay street it's going to be flooded with people so uh it's best if um if you can actually get a taxi there and back you know because you don't want to uh, drive down there because driving down there is, is pretty hectic. that you, you really moving at a snail pace but uh if i mean i'm just throwing this out there for my drinkers you know if you want to drink uh drink as much as you want to but you know just be safe and don't get in that car if you if you thinking about uh driving somewhere and you're drunk you know just uh just call that taxi because uh there actually been less arrests uh previous years on st patrick's day but, you know, it, it will never be at zero because, you know, you have a lot of wild people down there. You're going to see a lot of wild stuff in, on St. Patrick's Day. I, 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 I kid you not. You're going to see a lot of wild stuff. Somebody asked me, what's the wildest thing you've seen down there? I mean, you're going to see wild stuff every 30 seconds. I, I can't put it on one particular thing. Uh, you're going to see a lot of wild things down there. So uh, just, be, just be prepared and wear your green when you come down here. Oh, and also one last thing. I just want to throw this out there. Just a little tip. Um, you know, you can bring your own alcohol and stuff. And what I do, my little finesse, I get an empty water bottle and fill it up with some vodka or some rum or some Crown Royal or whatever I like. And I just fill it up in that little empty water bottle. And I just bring it down there and drink. Because when you're going downtown, you're going to be waiting in some long lines just to get a cup of some alcohol that might not be all the way full plus it's going to be overpriced beer you're probably going to look up end up paying at least eight dollars for a glass of, of some beer or alcohol or whatever you like so what i do i just fill up my empty water bottle with, with whatever i like and i just go at it you know um that's my little finesse just in case if y'all want to steal my idea y'all can but i mean that's the best way for me because i don't like waiting in long lines at all Especially just to get a cup and then if I want to get another cup, I got to do the same process all over again Nah, uh, I just do it that way. So feel free to steal my idea. Okay, but that's all for right now Hopefully you guys enjoy it's Pac-Man Jones with Savannah Seaport News and I'm out